So we observed first, like you just saw that picture in the hotel. Um, we did some recordings to kind of see what it looked like and see what was going on. We also interviewed the students, like the students who were sitting out there early. Um, and so some of the reasons that they were there earlier is they've been waiting outside and need somewhere to sit and they're studying is a nice place for them to study. Or especially if there are any exams, like midterms, everyone sits there early. Um, also, one interesting thing in Pippin Hall is that one time Gabe and I were there and like Half the kids were um, standing, you know, those two doors, half were standing and half were sitting, and the like, gave off the standing kids, and I also was here sitting. And as soon as someone came out, all the standing kids went in, whereas when the city kids, they waited until the last kids came out before they went in. So that's what we talked about. Okay, so we have some real things. Um, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Roland, your, your camera doesn't zoom on video, does it? It's not, sorry. You just have to be closer. Okay. Pass Okay, so for brainstorming, we did mind mapping and deep finding. So this is some examples of some mind mapping that we did. Um, and then deep finding was some great ways to do that. Is that what I was supposed to read? And kind of follow that. Everybody read it, right? Okay. I'll talk about the uh, prototype. So one of the ideas that we showed before was this blue state clear zone. So what we're showing down here is we've mapped out like, the blue tape, pear state, um, just like an area you shouldn't stand in. And um, this, unfortunately, did not work because um, people just walked right over it, and in the process, they blocked the result from being able to see it. So the next thing that we worked on, and what we're going to show you today, is a sign, and this is a remote controlled sign that flashes, and it says class exiting, and the idea is um, to get the early students to just wait outside until the majority of the inner students have left. Um, because again, we've got priorities for those people who are leaving to get the next class. Um, so it just says class exiting, it doesn't say please wait, because the hand is supposed to indicate that. And we'll show you that in a second. So we go through the uh, process of building that sign. Oh. Nice. So, you know, we had to draw a little like hand symbol at the <laughs> time, which was funny. And then we went uh, and purchased this clear red paper, or sorry, red film. And this is out there yeah. to cut up. And, nice. and then we wanted to make it look really clean because if there was any doubt in these Somebody hacks together. Hacks together <laughs> sign, then you know they just like totally ignore it. How'd you do it. that? So what we're looking at here is a, a transparency. Oh, so we laser printed on the transparency reverse. Where, where'd you get the laser printer? Um, there's one in my house. In the co-op. Oh, 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 sorry. Yeah. Okay, okay, sorry. Yeah, so, I, I thought you meant laser etching because we have oh. laser etching. <laughs> okay, anyways, go ahead. Yeah, so this is this is a you know only forty cents, a very cheap way of making a professional looking decal. Okay. So then we spent several hours cutting these hands out of, um, that's a, like a plastic, it's kind of like car corrugated cardboard. It's oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. yeah, and then this is, we just took part in a remote control car and then we rewired it so that um, instead of the motors, like, obviously, control, <laughs> we're just controlling two LEDs that would flash. And this oh is the final just like, Nice. We've got our own transmitter here, and we're ready to stick it um, up next to the 
doors. <laughs> okay, so the test. So now that the sign next to the door in both Hurst and Lacant, we try different things like by the side of the door or like on top of the door. Um, and the goal is to flash it for four minutes after the hour. So hopefully we can try to get people to queue outside until then. So we have some videos for you. So this video, oh, man. <laughs> okay, this video is just showing like how bright the sign is. Like, so it's like pretty obvious. Like if you walk by, you're gonna notice it. Right? <laughs> so there's two, there's two giant LEDs. Okay, now we're gonna take a look at. Um, this is a short clip of during so peak, during the peak clash. And what I want you to notice is over here, you're gonna see like a girl kind of notice it, but then. Um, you see that it's just people going straight in. So there's a little build up here because she's pulling back, but then as soon as she gives away, then um, everybody decides to go in. So this is usually the case where one person might stop and then pull everyone back, but if another person goes in, then everybody will follow that person. Did the light stop? Oh, we were flashing it, yeah. In this particular test, we had some problems with the transmitter reaching because um, I was standing next to the camera up here. So. Um, and then with Conf, we did two tests. The first one is <coughs> the sign mounted above the door to the yeah. left. So that's usually where they um, they have a sign they used to use, I guess, which was lecture in progress. But now they don't use that anymore. So yeah, just put the light on. Oh, so we didn't have a very good clash, but um, it's more like, in this case, people that are exiting, we had a lot of, like, the notice that we were exiting, rather than going in. So in general, so in general, because the sign mounted above the door, even when there was a build up in the front, they just didn't see it. So then we decided to put it um, down on the side here. We're going to have a class that's exiting or uh, entering to this uh, Intel, uh, the comp one. So, this is right as the first door opens in the first door uh, moving. <laughs> you stopped? Yeah, so they, they, that first door did stop, but and then she went in and everyone else followed us. So, this is the problem. So, the big problem is just to get that first person to hold back a little bit. So yeah, just to summarize the results. Who did not know the sign when it was not above the door, and when the sign was not next to the door, people noticed it, hesitated, but just for a moment. Um, but as soon as there was nobody immediately in the doorway, no one person entered, everybody went in. So in summary, the problem was with the flash issue. It was a Our original plan was to get like a um, like very flat like miniature fluorescent tube that would, that like backlight this whole thing. Uh -huh. But um, there's also there's like weight issues like you know uh -huh. we're just temporarily mounting this with the outside CP tape. Would you be able to like to angle the yeah LEDs? that's something we, we could try in the future yeah like so that the hand lights up so it's a little bit more like the kind of crossing the street kind of thing. Mm -hmm. The other thing was that like. Uh, Obviously, you see Berkeley, right? People are so conscientious of the crossing the street mm -hmm. signs. I mean, like <laughs> having it look exactly like that might not. I, I don't know. It's it's it, it's very clear to me what that means, right? But like thinking right. about yeah, how, how the people in Berkeley are going to follow that. Did you guys think about anything like uh, like kind of creating a digital window, right? Like because people try to walk in because they're worried that 
you know, why, why do they try to walk in early? Because they want to sit or because they, they're worried that they're not going to get a seat or something like that? Some people have particular seats they want, but some people just want to sit down. They're worried about being in the seat. 